fair on my little panel, um, uh, on my little QA panel. Now and now it's live. I think we're there live, we David. Right on. Now we're on air. We've got uh, quite a few people joining. We'll wait for just a, a minute here on this great uh, day. What day is it today? Wednesday? Tuesday? I don't even know what day <laughs> Tuesday. is anymore, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> August 11th. <laughs> They're all that? rolling together. They're all rolling together at this point, aren't they? Yeah. You know, I'm no longer working from home. I, I'm living at work. Uh, although today, uh, I rolled into the office just so I can have internet and, and no kids on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to risk it. So uh, uh, hopefully, <laughs> I don't have an invader here coming over my shoulder. <laughs> no problem, man. No problem. <laughs> Let's wait. Uh, let's wait about sixty seconds or so. Uh, we still got a bunch of people piling in. Uh, we're gonna have a great webinar today about a new product we're launching um, at Lion Desk here with our partners Matt over at Evocalize, how to generate leads, uh, how to follow up. Um, so we're gonna have a lot of fun and, and show you guys something cool. And then there's also something at the end you guys want to stick around for. So. Let's wait uh, maybe like 60 seconds here or so while everybody gets in. Sounds good. Yeah, good idea cool. to stick around toward the end, y'all. You bet. Oh, man. Tuesday. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're, we're in the Seattle area, as you know, David, and it's uh, we have some beautiful days going on right now. So we get the like one week of sunny weather uh, happening. So I'm looking out the window. Uh, uh really uh really excited about the excited. day for once yeah yeah i don't have uh, we, the raincoat ready yeah uh, well as you know we live in san diego and uh we pay for nice weather which is why we <laughs> it. okay so we get we, we pay that weather tax here um all right man what do you say let's get going huh let's get roll this thing, get this show on the road um all right so first let me get this set up and uh Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, quick intro. Um, as you guys know, may or may not know, David Anderson, founder, CEO of Lion Desk. I started Lion Desk uh, plus or minus five years ago. Uh, figured there was a gap in the industry in terms of uh, follow up, right? We've always known that follow up and nurturing is a huge problem. And now we know that lead generation combined with that follow up is, is really where the problem is. And so we partnered with. Uh, Friend of mine is named Matt Marks from Evocalize. He's the CEO. Matt, you want to give everybody a quick uh, overview? Sure, David. Thanks. Um, hey, y'all. Uh, really excited to be on the uh, the webinar with you today. Um, Matthew Marks, uh, Evocalize is based out of uh, the Seattle area. Uh, we're uh, we're about six years old. Um, we're uh, backed by Madrona Venture Group, um, venture capitalists, who also backed a little name. Uh, known as Amazon in the early days, uh, and uh, we're also back from the uh, national by the National Association of Realtors. Um, we uh, we've developed technology that actually powers a good uh, large amount of the real estate um, marketing ecosystem today. Um, we we have an infrastructure product. It basically uh, helps democratize sophisticated marketing, and it's a lot of like fancy words to mean we help make. Uh, performing, high performing, uh, sophisticated marketing programs that the portals and others have used for years to generate cheap, high quality leads. Uh, we make that simple for you to use. And we do that by integrating with tools that great tools uh, like LionDesk that you already use. Um, because the last thing we feel like you need is another thing, another tool. Um, so why we're in very deeply, uh, I think we're, we're really excited about announcing this partnership. Uh, David and team have done things that haven't been done uh, so far in uh, in these industries, and so very very excited to get to the meat of this thing um, and give you some some more powerful tools for user acquisition. Awesome, great intro, man. Um, and you got some big backing there. I didn't know that. It's uh, it's pretty impressive. Low expectations, man. It's low just, expectations. Uh, I'm sure. Far, really low expectations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, housekeeping. Uh, everybody's told us to do this. Number one, stay till the end. Okay, because we have something that if you're gonna run an ad and you're going to work through the program, you're going to want to stick around. It's going to be beneficial. Um, number two, the chat box. Uh, if you have any questions, we've got people who are monitoring the chat box. Uh, we can already see some stuff in there. Hello from Tampa, Angel, hello. Um, replay will be sent through email. And uh, so that will be emailed to everybody who is registered um, in the next few days. And then also, real quick, uh, our team set together some poll questions. 
So let's go ahead and engage those questions and uh, have a little bit of fun before we actually get going here. And poll questions. I'll start the poll. Start poll. Oh, there it is. It's been started. Number one, uh, do you run Facebook ads? Wow, poll's moving fast. Poll's moving quick. Hundreds of responses here. What do you think? 50-50, 70-30, 80-20? Looking like 70-30. Lots of responses. Cool. Okay. And the results of the ad coming in. Still and coming poll, in. Still coming in. Okay, so there we go. Um, 65% run Facebook ads, 34% do not. So those that do, right, you understand the complications around it. Those that don't, we're going to show you how to make it really easy for both of you guys. So the next poll, this one's even more important uh, when it comes down to it. The question is coming up here. And uh, in fact, I just saw this question come through this morning. And uh, they, the team said to laugh when it comes through because it's supposed to be a little fun. And the poll question number two is about ads and which one you think is going to perform better. And uh, do you think an ad with a grandma with her dog or a grandma with her cat? So, Matt, is this going to – is this scientific? Um, <laughs> have you guys done research on this? Yeah, you know what? This uh, – <laughs> along with our, our monthly, uh, monthly post-COVID ad performance analysis that uh, tracks billions of – of uh, ad views out, out on Facebook. We're also tracking uh, cats versus dogs. Um, and you know what? The most sophisticated marketers in the industry, they, they do this. You know, they, you know, they kind of stick their finger in the air. No, they don't. Uh, but, uh, but you know, it's kind of a fun one. <laughs> uh, I think this is actually going to tell us um, whether we have more dog people uh, here or whether we have more cat people. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dog person as well. So there you go. The, the dog people win it. 70-30. Um, so that's good. Okay, let's hit the last one, and then let's let's start digging deep here. Last poll coming up uh, is uh, is another good one. And uh, again, this is just to keep it light, guys. Right. Um, the last question is going to be: Do you want an easy and powerful way to generate leads and nurture them all in one system? We're keeping track of the nos. <laughs> <laughs> we could end this thing fast with the nos. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, this one's the poll. The poll is going to be obvious. You're not here if you didn't want to actually generate leads with an easy and powerful system um, with an all-in-one system. So the poll results are coming through, and it's going to be 99 or 100 to zero. And um, there we go, just as we suspected, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Good guess. Good guess. Good guess. Okay, so let's get in it. Um, I'm going to hit. Forward. Now, remember, I just want to remind everybody what our mission here is at Lion Desk. Um, I wanted to share with you guys what we do because it's important. We believe relationships or businesses are built on relationships. And at Lion Desk, we help professionals turn contacts into lifelong clients. When we first started uh, at Lion Desk, it was all about the communication, right? The emails, the text messages. Then we added video. And that's about organizing your database. We have transactions. We have reminders. We have the AI follow-up system, which is Gabby, which is pretty unbelievable in terms of the response rates you're going to get. And then we determined, um, you know, Matt and I were bouncing, I mean, probably two years ago, you and I were talking at this point yep. about how the last communication piece, that CRM that we were missing was really where people are today especially more, right? They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're on these social things, right? They're, they're browsing around. And I believed, and, and Matt pushed me over the edge and said, hey, I think that CRM needs to have that component that allows a salesperson, an agent, a loan officer to communicate with their clients via Facebook, via Instagram. And so what we did was we came up with, we're going beyond CRM, the traditional sense of the word, we want to give you guys all the tools you need, not just to nurture and close those leads, but now to generate the leads. And so we built this into an ultimate lead management platform. 
everything you need all in one place. And, and the good thing about this is like Matt alluded to originally was you can have systems that generate leads and you should, right? I mean, there's a lot of different systems that are going to do a lot of different things. Right now, all of those funnel into LionDesk for those of you who are LionDesk clients. You can use our systems to nurture. Now, with our new Facebook ad portal that we were launching today, all of those lead gen is all self-contained in the Lion Desk, which means they all get dumped in the Lion Desk, which means that all the nurture can happen. You can see the results. You can see what you're doing. And we believe it's going to be an amazing way for you guys to start building your businesses outside of what you're currently doing because we have the ability now to connect directly with Facebook, with custom audiences, with ad creation. And for the 70% of you that said they've ran ads before, like I said, we're going to show you guys how to make it real simple. Okay. So Matt, why don't you give us why, why agents and lenders and businesses should be on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. No, um, good, good, uh, good kind of tee up, David. So Facebook has over 3.1 Facebook alone, Facebook and it's, and it's partners. You not know Instagram is a part of Facebook, um, a messenger, uh, uh, Facebook extends well, well beyond the Facebook portal itself. Uh, their reach is now far and wide, second largest ad portal um, out there beyond, uh, behind Google. And people are engaging, obviously, in, in content. And they're living their lives um, more than ever right now, especially when we're uh, mostly digital in our societies online. Even before that, um, you guys know these stats, right? You're living it and breathing it every day. Four out of five US home bar buyers used an online research resource in their search. That's not surprising to you. That's not surprising this day and age. 10 years ago, it was. Um, it's not today. Um, over half of buyers talk with one agent before deciding who to work with. And that's online or in person um, from some NAR stats uh, that we worked with the NAR on a couple years ago. Um, and so as a result, most of you are already on. We saw you know, roughly 65, 70% of you are using Facebook today to market. Um, statistics say that uh, over 85% now of realtors use Facebook or Google, one or the other, to market homes for sale. So you're online already engaging with your audiences in different ways. You know you must be what we call digitally present because it need, you need to build your pipeline um, so that you're the first person that um, that, that the, the seller uh, or the buyer thinks about when they're ready to buy or sell a home. You're already the, lo the local authority in their mind. Yeah. Yeah. And it really goes to the point, right, to where everybody's online right now. Agents are online right now. Lenders are online right now. But it's so hard for them, right, to do it because they to your next slide here and I'll let you hit it. They're spending way too much time trying to figure this whole thing out. Yeah. You know, it's just like how can how can we justify folks spending almost 10 hours a week on digital marketing right it just it's an insane amount of time to be spending online um and when you're not when you're not you know out there buying and selling homes and working with folks uh in the community um doing things that really you know you need to do to um to, to boost your local business um and uh you know, I think that's the crux of the matter, right? Uh, these things, and we're going to talk about efficacy in a, mi a minute of, or effectiveness, um, but but you're spending way too much time and getting too little ROI out of what you're doing today. So it's good that you're online, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's it's hard. It's hard to do today. Yeah, and think about that. If you're going to spend six, seven, eight, nine hours marketing, you're losing those that time that you could be selling. And so there's a lot of time being spent here, right? And so then it then it leads you to the point of like, what are you doing when you're marketing? Yeah, yeah, and you know it's interesting. Uh, so uh, three out of four local marketers um, uh, believe that they're taking shortcuts. They know they're doing things that are suboptimal from a marketing perspective, like boosting posts in Facebook. Um, First of all, we work with many of the largest uh, portals and help them generate leads uh, in in uh, various industries, and they don't boost posts. I can guarantee you that because they don't work. In fact, um, if any of you were at uh, San Francisco in San Francisco uh, back when we were allowed to have in person conferences and things like that, uh, the fun that those were um, at the NAR conference a couple years ago, Facebook stood on stage and surprisingly said, "Do not boost posts." Uh, they do not bring ROI, which I can think there was a collective gasp in the audience. Um, but a lot of people are still doing it. So, um, and they do it because 
it's easy. And you're already spending nine hours a week, right? So how can we justify you spending more time uh, on these advanced techniques um, to, you know, and taking you away from buying and selling, as David said earlier, um, to do the things that work better. Um, and that's what, what we're really here to try and solve. We'll, we'll give you a, a few more stats on the next page and then get into it. Um, so doing the right thing is, is complicated, right? Just like doing the light, right thing in life is sometimes hard. Doing the right thing in marketing takes even more than that nine hours. Uh, in some cases, uh, you know, tens of hours more per week. The, um, the largest and most sophisticated folks in marketing, again, our technology powers many of them, uh, they're not using interest targeting. So they're not targeting people who have liked Zillow on Facebook in the past. Um, they're doing things, they're using much far more advanced techniques. They're targeting their customer lists, they're auto-optimizing, they're using things called dynamic creative optimization, that's rotating images. They're using the AI power of the platforms for their benefit. They're building look-alike models or similarity models based on prior uh, customers of yours. Um, and so these are techniques that they're just hard. They take more and more time to do than you're already doing today. Um, so we looked at this this whole setup and we, with David and we said, look, how do we how do we marry these things together? How do we marry these these things together so that we can give you one button to push, one button to push, and we bake all of this these sophisticated data and techniques into that button, right? And David's gonna gonna walk you through that um, how that actually works in practice and what it looks like, but it gives you the power. It, what we call in fancy words, democratizing local marketing, right? It allows you to have the same power um, at that push of a button that the uh, most sophisticated marketers in your industry do. Um, so pretty cool stuff. I look forward to showing it to you. Yeah, so this all seems very confusing to me. Um, you were talking <laughs> about the interest marketing and their customer list, and, and I think that's really what, what it's all about, right? I mean, this stuff is complicated. I've been through a lot of webinars on Facebook stuff. We have teams in our company that create ads, that target, that do all this stuff, and it's just it's just a lot, right? And so what we did was we wanted to create an easy way for our clients, right, our respective clients to actually create an ad in under a couple minutes, publish it, and start seeing the results directly at LionDesk. So we're gonna jump right into the demo here. Um, I'm going to slide over my screen so you guys can see it. Okay, can you see that? Uh, let me just check this one back real quick. Make sure you guys can see it. Okay. All right, so here's the Lion Dust dashboard, and let me just refresh here just to make sure I've got my internet connection all up and running. Otherwise, I'm going to have to re-log back in here. And uh, yes, it looks good. Okay, so I'm logged in here. This is your Lion Desk dashboard. Um, many of you are familiar with this already. Over on the left-hand side, there's going to be a, a new tab for you. It's called Ad Portal. I'm going to go ahead and click that. What you're going to see is a couple different options here, where you can do things like syncing your Facebook audience um, directly to Lion Desk. This would normally take you about two and a half hours to do it manually. We now do it automatically. But this is the, the cookie right here, Lion Desk Facebook ads. As you can see, launch high converting ads in under five minutes. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to launch an ad for you guys. I'm going to click get started. You've got a couple different options. Okay. Right now, we are launching currently a bunch of markets connected to the MLS to where your listings will automatically be loaded up inside of the ad portal to where you're gonna be able to select it and launch that ad. It'll bring over the images that you've uploaded in the MLS. It'll bring up the beds, the baths, the city, the description, everything, okay? We're going through right now and we're launching a bunch of MLSs. So if yours not there, don't worry, we're gonna get it. What I'm gonna do, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm gonna do now is create my own ad. This is gonna be anything you want. I've seen open houses, I've seen refi ads, I've seen move out of California ads, right? <laughs> There's a lot of different options that you can do here. Um, so you can do a video or you can do an image. So let's go ahead and just do one of these image ads. It's gonna pop in here and it's gonna take me directly to what we call a blueprint. A blueprint is a preset ad type, 
okay? And so if I went into Facebook right now, to get me to this point would probably have taken me 10 or 15 minutes, in all honesty. Am I at wrong at least? At, at least. least, yeah. Okay. Yeah, blueprints have, have all the complexity and best practices. They're kind of like a tra advanced training program uh, that goes out and does the work for you. So um, that's that's all been done when just that button clicked. Just the button click. So I'm gonna walk through this as if I'm you. I've connected my Facebook page already. You've gotta have a business page in Facebook in order to connect it, okay? If, if you don't have it there, just click link new page. It's gonna take you about 30 seconds. Then you can start creating your ad. As I type in here, this is my ad. Right, you can see it pre-building over here on the on the right hand side. I already have a couple of things typed up, so I'm just going to copy and paste it here. So this is the body text, and you can see use emojis, right? Use the little heart, use the little home. It doesn't make a difference, but it will when it comes to the results. Okay, um, headline required, minutes away from town, privacy included. And uh, let's not try to get the spelling wrong here. Make sure you spell check. Description, I'm just going to put, don't let this uh, opportunity pass you by. And then you can select your image. So I've preloaded these on my account. You can upload your images. Again, if you're running a video ad, you can do the same thing. So you can upload a video. And we've seen, at this point, a half a dozen video ads that have been uploaded just in the last couple of days from our beta testing. Uh, and it's fantastic. So I'll go ahead and pick that nice looking house right there. And that's what your ad's gonna look like in Facebook. That's it, right? Scroll down, you just got two more options here. Call to action, I'm gonna select learn more. You can select open link, book now, apply now, get quote. Right now, the blueprint that I chose, right Matt? Yep. Is a traf is traffic blueprint, correct? We that's will correct. be launching, we will be launching in the last couple of weeks or in the next couple of weeks the lead ad blueprint. And so the differences between the lead ad blueprint and the traffic is the traffic goes to your website, the lead ad, it's automatically gonna pop up where you're gonna type in the customer first name, last name, email, phone. Those leads will then be driven directly to Line Desk within seconds after submission, right? That's right, that's right, so, that's right. And you know, there, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of good use cases for both, David. These are all the optimization and the AI works behind the scenes to, met, to try and get the most out of those objectives, right? So this blueprint is focused on how do we get the most qualified audience in to click down to your site to get them to do, uh, take actions on your site. And it's optimizing against that constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The lead ads format, the native lead form, uh, folks will see the lead form pop up pre-filled data in Facebook, in Instagram, and that will be a submission. And the, the objective is to get more of those qualified uh, folks um, filling out forms in Facebook. And we use a lot of techniques um, to be able to increase the quality levers here rather than just a quantity, because we know you, you, you want to fill the pipe, but you want to have uh, real people and you want to have them uh, you know, re really responsive too, right? You bet. So the last step uh, is to select a postal code or region for our Canadian friends. You can do your postal code. I'm just gonna select uh, San Diego in here um, as the area. I can also do a zip code, right? 92130, target the radius around that particular zip code. And then here's where if you had an audience of your clients, right, of your database, let's assume you had 1,000 or 2,500 or 5,000 clients that you wanted to go ahead and target, you could upload those ahead of time. We also have pre-built audiences, which are incredibly powerful for both buyers and sellers. So I'll go ahead and select a buyer, hit next. This is where you set your spend, right? So how long do you want this thing to run? I'm gonna run it for two weeks up here at the top, $99, gonna select my visa. I'm gonna give everybody a promo code, stick around. You're gonna want this <laughs> promo code, okay? And then I'm gonna name my program here and we'll just call it, uh, Lion Desk Ad Portal and hit next. And that took me, except for the fact that Matt and I went back and forth for a minute, about 90 seconds to create an ad inside of Facebook. As soon as I hit that checkout button, it'll get sent up to Facebook automatically with your business page, driving either traffic or when we come out with it, the lead ads, or if you have listings, it'll have your listing in there automatically as well. And so that's how quick it is. And Matt, talk real quickly about 
the special ad categories and, and because we're talking about real estate here, right? Is this, this is all handled automatically, correct? Yeah, so that that's, uh, and I, I see that we kind of have a question that's come through on this. So I'll just tackle it as we're rolling. But, um, you know, uh, so how's it, so Facebook, you know, had some some issues with, uh, uh, with uh, housing employment and credit and conversations with the government, right? So uh, gosh, somewhere around a year ago, uh, introduce new restrictions. Um, a lot of you who are part of that two thirds who advertise on Facebook probably already know this, where they've restricted some of your options for location targeting and some other forms of targeting. Um, we don't, we, we've, again, we've been running the largest scale programs in, in the real estate industry and others through our technology for years. And well before that, we ripped those options out um, and, and didn't use them because they they didn't perform as well as some of the techniques that we have in here, right? So you have, David mentioned some of the audience targeting, similarity modeling. Um, what happens when you shrink down your audience, uh, like targeting a specific zip code, like you could do before the housing employment and credit rules are in place, um, you increase your costs, right? So your costs go pretty high, right? And what we're able to do here is we're able to widen that geographic boundary a little bit, have to do it anyway to comply. It's already built in. HEC compliant um, rules are already in the blueprint. Um, but this allows you to overlay qualification or qualified audiences and do things like zip code, center point radius. So we're able to do some advanced techniques that frankly, the best advertisers in real estate were already doing. It maximized their performance. We've AB tested and multi, uh, multivariate tested this over tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars of spend across uh, the United States and, and beyond. Um, and it works every time. It's just a better way of marketing. Using your data, your audiences, and these pre-built audiences is a better way of finding qualified folks um, in Facebook and Instagram. Yep, yep. So there's a lot that went into the back end of this to make it simple on the front end, right? Here's a quick result right here. Anna Velasquez, one of our realtors, who clients uses Lion Desk. She did a two two week run. Um, she got 57 new leads over that two weeks. She's following up right now with those clients. Uh, for her, it's been fantastic. Uh, here's Jeff, Jeff, uh, loan officer, uh, mortgage guy. He created a video ad, right? And so the video can play, um, and he's already gotten 40 clicks and 3,200 brand views, right? And so these are real results that our clients have been getting over the past couple of days. And Jeff's comment, and you'll see it in just a second, was it was just incredibly easy to actually jump back in there. So that's the demo. That's how quick you can actually create an ad. Um, and so now, from our perspective here, let me bounce back over to my actual screen. And uh, here was Anna's results. 57 leads, 14 days. She's got the AI follow-up, right? And so again, we've got Gabby, who's that lead assist nurturing platform which is why this is so powerful, guys, is because you got the system now inside of Lion Desk to go in there and quickly create these ads that then just get sent back into Lion Desk on the lead ad form. If you're still using your website, you still got to plug in your website, right, into, into Lion Desk. But when we launch this lead ad thing, it's going to be incredibly powerful. And then we got a couple more here. Um, Rebecca said how fun and easy it was to create the ads. Nathan, Canadian, uh, thank you, friend. He ran an ad. 42 cents per click. And then uh, first four days of Jeff's ad, he's already got 21 clicks. And that's uh, that's cost per click, not CPLC, uh, which is cost per something click. But that's what uh, that's the results of that. And so just in a short period of time, guys, we've had a ton of success on this, right? And it's not just one ad. You can create endless options, right? And so we just had a client yesterday who created a video and then did that. And then she, she had an open house. And so now she's got an open house ad running alongside of one of her other, her standard ads, right? So your broker uses for recruiting, upload that list of agents, target them. If you're a loan officer, we know there's refi right now, right? If you're looking to attract specific buyers, searching for beach homes. My sister's an agent here in California. She's running an ad target in a Solana beach area, right? Super flexible. And you're just able to go and create these things constantly and then see the results as they're coming in. So we're going to continue to make these blueprints for you guys in terms of not just the, you know, the actual like easy set button, but also 
which ones are actually working and give you guys idea in terms of content and creative. And that will all be uh, coming out through between now and the end of the year. So um, for those of you who want to use this, I recommend getting on it right now. Um, it looks like our videos are covering up that promo code, but here's what the deal is. You've got 99 bucks, spend 99, you're going to get 49. Okay. So what does that mean? I'm going to move the, there we go. Move this over, jump into the ad portal of the day. We are going to dedicate $10,000 of ad credit. What that means is that if you spend more than 99 bucks, you're going to get $50 off immediately. So you're going to get half off. You spend 149, you're going to get 49. Type in the promo code LionDes49 when you're in that checkout process. It's going to automatically deduct that amount, and then it's limited to the first 200 people that do this, right? So this is a limited value offer. We're putting in 10,000 bucks at, at just under 10,000, right? At 49 bucks a pop, so that's 200 people. First 200 that, that go in there and create an ad, you can create one ad, you can create two ads. You're gonna get the $49 off, okay? So get that. We're gonna post this again for everybody to do it um, so you guys can see it. But that's, that's how we wanna promote this thing. We think it's exciting for everybody. We think you guys are going to have great success with it. If you've got a listing, get in there now. Like I said, if you're a lender, we know those rates are low. Get in there now, okay? Lion Desk 49 at the checkout process. That's the ad portal, right? Um, if there's any Q&A, I think we, we should do it. I can see a lot of people already coming in here now as I'm looking at another screen of mine, jumping in on the ad portal stuff, trying to go in there and figure this all out. For those of you that have questions, um, we can hammer through a few questions. and. Uh, Boy, there's a lot here. Um, <laughs> That's great. Awesome engagement from the from the from the crew. My goodness. Okay, so how do you get to it, right? So uh, there are two ways to get to the ad portal. One, if you don't have an account in LionDesk, go to liondesk.com/free trial. Log in. You'll have access to the ad portal immediately. You can go in there. You do not have to be a subscriber today to LionDesk in order to to create an ad. Okay, this is not an extra fee on top of it. When you, if you are a current subscriber, you should have access today already. Go into the ad portal and just hit get started. Okay. Um, wow, there's so many questions I can barely read through these things. Uh, uh, let's see, see anything in here? Um, there's a uh, how long before the lead ad will be available? Um, and so, uh, David, uh, the lead ad form. So, right now we have. Uh, website traffic objective and, and optimizations. Uh, lead ad form, I think, is coming pretty soon, right, David? Yes. So I think the lead ad form is coming within the next, if not the next, uh, this week, then within the next week and a half or two weeks. Um, that's going to be out. We'll let everybody know when that is out, right? That lead ad form is going to be fantastic. And what we're doing on the lead ad form is we're going to actually show you, we have an FAQ of how to plug that lead ad directly so that the lead assist, which is Gabby, follows up instantly for you with the AI follow-up. And again, that's the power of, of marrying these two systems together, which is you get the lead, you shoot it to LionDesk, it follows up for you. When I mentioned Anna Velasquez, she had 57 leads that she had created that Gabby was following up on for her. And it still is for the next 12 months, right? And so it's a, it's a very low cost system and it's, it's high conversion as well. Um, Let's see. Uh, can you please send a link to watch the new one? Yeah, go ahead. You got another one? David, sorry. There's a question from Enrique uh, that looks like uh, it says, you ha uh, do you have to be careful with this? Because if you don't select special ad category, your Facebook ad account will be suspended. Um, do, that stuff has been taken care of for you in, in the blueprint. So you don't have to. One of the beautiful things is we're trying to rip away complexity out of this for you. So you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. You're already in the special ad category. Uh, your your audiences are already built with special ad audience um, where they need to be. The machine and the AI have handled all of that for you. So um, to, so just to just to address that, I think it was important important point um, to be clear. You don't have to you don't have to worry about that. It's just part of what we're trying to do is trying to make these complicated, sophisticated things like audience building and and linking and cre ad creation uh, really simple for you. Yeah, and also a reminder, everybody when. Every, every market, most markets have different uh, rules and regulations around those listing ads, right? And so if you're a part of CRMLS here in California, you can't, you can't advertise somebody else's listings. Um, and so 
you have to make sure you're following the rules. And what we're going to do is make it all of those rules into Facebook automatic. If you have to put your broker name or DRE number inside of that ad, make sure you do that. Just as you would make sure you did it when you were creating your ad into Facebook. Okay. Um, at this point, Arizona uh, ARMLS is connected. So anybody that's part of ARMLS, you can actually start doing the listing ads. Um, more MLSs are coming. Thank you, Marnie. Um, we're going to be loading up a, a lot of MLSs over the next 30, 60 days, guys. Okay. And so those listings, your listings will automatically be pushed in to Lion Desk, which is going to be fantastic. Um, okay. We have some, um, uh, David, David, just one thing to mention. Um, we uh, have some folks that have mentioned connectivity problems with the webinar. Uh, this, this is going to be recorded and distributed, I think, right? Correct. Yep, we will we will uh, distribute and report for everybody that's asking a question about their MLS. We're getting them all in there right now. We have partnerships with RealComp, Sierra MLS, San Diego, Arizona, Bay Area, Colorado. So we're working through these things. We're going to get Texas. We got Florida lined up, and so we're going to get your listings. But remember, you can do a, if you've got a listing right now, go build it, use it, and create your own, right? And then drive it to a landing page, and then you're going to get that forty nine dollars off immediately. Okay. Um, and so to reiterate, somebody asked a question, spend 99, get 49, which means you're only going to be charged $59. Okay. On that ad. Okay. Ad portal is available under all plans. I think we've got so many questions. They're, they're coming in wild, but I think what we'll probably do is we'll just have to get back to everybody. Um, and again, liondesk.com slash free trial or jump into lion desk, click on that ad portal link, get started. Right. You yep. can run as many ads as you want. That promo code Lion Desk 49 and then fill the ad. If you got questions, search our help desk. We've got a, a ton of, of articles up there already on the help desk. Search ad portal and get going. We're here to help you. We're excited. Um, we've had clients over the last five years ask us, how do I generate leads? How do I generate leads? Now we've got the solution. We're pumped about it. We hope you guys are too. Matt. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Looking forward Thanks, to seeing Dave. you again in person some point, <laughs> uh, some point soon. And um, to everybody else, thank you. Have a great Tuesday. Good luck. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Thank you, everyone.